Hey guys, packing here. What I'll be doing is soldering this connector to a 2.0 millimeter GST micro connectors. And I'm gonna attach these on um, to create a quick quick connect for the trust fire stick battery, which I will be combining these two batteries. I've uh, applied a little bit of flux with that and just smear it across the there so it has a nice bond to it. Now as you can see I'm using a conventional alright this is a recap of my video it seems that um, my video was cut unexpectedly um, but this is going to be a quick, quick video on how I solder in the 2.0 micro JST connector. Um, first, um, again, this one is a 26 gauge um, stranded tinned wire. Alright, so you want to twist it. You don't have to twist it if you don't want to. It's fine as long as it remains flat and flushed. Okay. So you want to make sure you are prepping your solder gun. And you want to apply solder. You can use a <clears throat> a flux. You want to flux your 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 connector first. And you want to make sure you apply the sleeve. That is pretty important. So you want to put that sleeve away further, further back and use your helping hands uh, for this process. You would use either the flux uh, pen or the paste. Um, a lot of people have the paste so I think it's preferred. Alright, so just use a small dab of paste. I just grab a tweezer and gently uh, rub it across the area and I want to put it across this connection over here as when I close it it would be it would be the flat surface end so this this red wire is going to go on top of this pin. So I'm gonna wait till it gets hot. We want to tim this first. I'm using a fine electrical rosin core solder and dispenser. I'm gonna see if I have a, there you go. So I have an extra piece that I can, I can use. It's the same thing. I'm gonna take my tweezer and let it hold onto the, let me see if this, this tweezer is not that great grabbing okay now it's ready so I'm gonna touch the the wire and you feed in the solder into the wire so it's like this very quickly there you go it's tinned All right. You also want to tin the connection too. This is a very tiny, tiny connector. So you want to position and see this glob of mess. You want to clean it with a wire brush. And you're gonna tin this too, gently. There you go, tinned. Try again. All 
All right. This area is tinned. And then when I put these two together, like that, position the best that you can. Okay, let it go against one another. All right, helping hands, don't fail me now. All right. You want to put it where it doesn't move. There you go. Perfect. Now it attaches like that. I'll use my camera, focus it. There you go. Now I'm gonna solder the two. Ooh, not a good place to start. And there you have it. So clean your brush or my solder iron. Now it's not gonna move. See, that's one done. That's what you want. The black, the same way. You put the black ground wire and you put it in the same way. See, after that's done, you can inspect it. It's nice and tight, very solid joint. And you have a sleeve. You can just use a heat gun and melt it or use a iron and just run it across. Hey, I would like to mention that um, when you when you have one end um, completed for the for the red wire and you you sleeve it it is important that you had to make sure that it is sleeved first before you put in the black wire because it's going to be a lot more difficult if you decide to say hey I want to go put in the black wire too as well but then you end up probably bridging between two, uh, two ends of the solder. So my recommendation is you finish one end, you finish one end um, of this wire, you sleeve it, you take the black wire or whatever color you want, um, that's a ground wire, and you want to put the other end, make sure you sleeve, and then you solder it, then you sleeve the other end. That way you prevent the solder from bridging um, the connection. All right, so this is just an example of how to wire a, uh, a, a wire, such as a 26 gauge um, wire, a stranded tinned copper wire into the 2.0 JST micro connector, um, which I've already done on my chassis over here. It used to be where it's where it was all connected, so I cut it to create my very own 2.0 quick connect for the stick battery, which you'll be seeing later on. So this is this is the result. Positive ground, two heat shrinks, very tight 